Hello guys, we have a game coming up for you. This is Trick Jump against Randoms. Trick Jump consists of Fantasy, Capot, Shaman, Sherlock, Timberlina, and Shin. I'm going to pronounce it Shin, but it might not be correct. Uh, Coucher, uh, Kimmy, Samraj, Varuna, Williams, and Stonage are the lineup for Randoms. However, two players were fake nicking, and they were called Bronson and Batman. I, I, this would be Varuna and Stonage by the lineups. However, I wasn't sure who was who, so I just basically called them by their fake nicks. That's the way it goes. Um, this is a KBG uh, ceiling tournament matchup, and this is the first game that both teams played. We should have some more uh, KBG ceiling tournament games before the event itself, which take which takes place on the 19th, the 20th, and the 21st of this month. And I'll be doing live stream on my on my normal Twitch channel um, as many games as I can. They are going to be long days. The first two days look like they're going to be 12-hour days, and the third day is is only just a little bit shorter, but it's it's like eight hours, ten hours. Um, this is without delays. So we'll see. Um, so enjoy this game, and we should have some more games coming soon. Prepare to fight. So here we go. This game's going to kick off the KBG LAN uh, seeding tournament between Randoms and Trick Jump. This is the first match for both teams. We've got Fantasy, Timberlina, Shin, Kapot, Sherlock, Shaman against William, uh, Coucher, fight. Batman, Kimmy, Samraj, and Bronson. We do have the Trick Jump team on defense first. And we are going to stick with Timberlina, who's the rifle playing our middle. Kind of standard position. Can get uh, anti anti stratted pretty quickly, as you do see Kimmy get that rifle off and, and take down Timberlina. I did hear some revives. I think Shin is the uh, field up in middle. Got a couple of players to deal with up top. Uh, CP has been constructed by the Axis, so they're going to have a bit more charge time. Artilleries can be quite important on this first stage. It does look like they're only playing with one um, field up. Some teams play with two. Some players engineer SMG, some play over... Uh, Filled up down low. Different types of spam. As you do see, Trick Jump have held off the early pushes. And uh, now the uh, ally team have a spawn time to work with. A lot of teams like to base their pushes on spawn times, their own spawn, their own enemy spawn. Can be become predictable in terms of what you're going to do. A little bouncing shot, Timberlina gets the alley oop. It's, uh, it's going to be Bronson to get taken down. One minute off the clock, and Fantasy has spawned back by mistake. See how costly that will be. Double grenade comes in from Williams. And uh, the lower area is under control. Double artillery in reply though from Shin. And that is a nice little uh, response from the, the field up on middle. Batman double mobile MG42. Uh, he's not going to get in the gib. He's uh, not sure what he was waiting for there. He is going to get taken down. Revive will come in. Rifle from Kimmy comes up towards middle. But it's not going to do anything. Uh, waiting for the charge. Maybe going to get a gib in there. I think that was a pretty nice shot. As the nade's going to go on to middle. Ne oh, I would have team killed a teammate there. As uh, going to nade on to middle this time. And does team kill a teammate. That's exactly what we saw before. But it is going to be take down two enemies at the same time. And they are going to push up for that flag. Plant is going down in the lower area. As we do have Bronson going to be able to get his hands on that flag. And I think that Axis spawned in like four or five seconds. So they, they had a little bit of time on their hands. The Axis have held off the first stage for a good few minutes. Oh, two minutes, two and a half minutes with the plant blow. And Trick Jump have respawned and they're doing some mines. Let's see where Fancy opts to put his mines. He's going to go for the defensive mines back here. I like him back here. Back here, back here. They're going for the aggressive mines. And these mines will basically... These mines will not last very long. And people might even walk on them and slash kill. Because they're so close to the spawn. So we'll see the push coming for the allies. As they are checking their corners, but nothing yet. Very slow push. As you do, oh, that could be a huge mine. It's not going to happen. So uh, That's one mine down. Artillery on the road. They need to keep the spam up. As you just see the, the respawn of the allies coming in. They're, they're running the risk. Getting destroyed by this artillery. Truck pushed up to the crossroads. And uh, Shin gets in one frag. Rifle still in the hands of, uh, of Kimmy. Tries to get a shot off towards CP. Wall side. It doesn't look like they've got a wall defense at the moment. They're playing heavy CP. As the push did come through cave, Williams nearly got that plant down. The, the cover was there. Shaman, now low on ammo. He's pretty decent with the pistol. So he's going to rattle off a few shots, but the, the ally team are making their way towards CP. Fantasy's mind does the work, but the revive comes in, and I think there's three or four players at CP now, so they're going to have a bit of control. As you do see Shaman push through, he does get taken down. Headshots on towards Batman, but it's not going to be enough. Williams just goes flying across the map after getting taken down. I, might, I guess that was... Oh, no, that was uh, 
That was Coucher. Grenade launch. As Williams has to wait for the, the CP. It's not going to happen. Nice rifle comes out from Timberlina. No Covey in position. As I think that's Coucher running across now to destroy the CP. So the Axis have done a reasonable job, considering. As Fantasy picks up another double kill. They're actually putting the mines down, not realising that a couple of allies were still at CP, seemingly. And they're going to be able to blow that CP. They need to wait for the engineers to move across. But it should be Williams this time. Uh, Williams and Coucher both en engin engineer SMGs. I will get out eventually as Coucher goes down to the main road. Williams going to be able to build out CP for the forward spawn, but no revive comes in on, on the on the engineer. Triple kill comes out for Shaman, and uh, he's still in position, I believe, in cave. I think he went quite aggressive. Well, he got taken down. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Though. Rifle comes out. CP has been built up. So the forward spawn in allied hands. Yeah, they do believe he's pushing up cave. They're scared. Bad airstrike. I'm not sure what that airstrike's about. It's going to be able to take down two. That was an awful airstrike. That was absolutely awful. Two team kills, and I think that was someone who was planting. Um, they might have got killed by the guy in, in cave anyway, but... Sherlock is still in position. This is a really aggro position to deal with. So you have to push all the way to be able to even see in cave, and you can just hold back, wait for the plant. You can hear it drop. So a few frags go uh, random's way. So skip it around. And so it looks like they're going to go towards that east plant. We have got two or three players in position. Spam over the top. Couch is going to try and get this plant in nades. A bit misplaced. And it's not going to be able to get that frag in. And the spam still on that main gate. Kapot's going to move it into the cave. This is a vital position. I, I always say there's like default positions on most stages. Where if... If the person who would normally play there is dead, just just try and play there. As the double rifle comes out, I mean, with the with the defuse on East as well, as uh, Trick Jumper just messing messing around with the uh, with the Ally team. Randoms are being very random. Got to cover those plants. Uh, there we go. That's what I like to see. A bit more, a bit more cover. It was uh, a bit better time with their spawn time, I guess. And it is easier to cover, man. As they are just going to make sure. Batman's got it covered. They're going to go towards east as well. The truck is all pushed up though, so that's not too much of a problem. East is plant is going to go down. Nice spam from Timberlina. He's been doing some good work on defense. I'll pick him up. Hitting some two-man rifles. That might be a team kill though. Sure clock uh, pushing out. Rifle up top. He is going to be able to take down one. Coucher out for the count. Maybe out for full spawn if no revive comes in. And the trick jump guys are staying in spawn. Very, very defensive situation here. Rifle comes out from Timberlina again. Picks up another. Artillery's rained down as Batman's going to be able to pick up two. And uh, there are two or three players alive for the Axis team still. They're heavily on main. And someone's just going to walk through. Samraj managed to walk through. Uh, Shin somehow took him from by surprise. Triple kill comes out for Fantasy. The mine's doing the work there on East. He's going to self-kill, come in, push towards that East side. and It's a very strange uh, setup from the Axis at the moment. A couple of guys sitting in spawn. I don't think they, they must not have West Plant. Nice headshots coming out from Shen. Does take down one at main, but he is going to get dropped as the push towards the, uh, the truck is getting held off. Nice, uh, nice crossfire, but randoms pick up four kills. Revive train in towards the spawn. And Batman pushes towards the truck. Three players alive for the randoms team. And they're just running around with packs out. Capot with another double frag. But the respawn coming in for the allies. And they really should have this truck in position now. Are the Axis going to risk all? Are they going to run out? They, If they do, they're in trouble. Randoms get three kills on the spawn. Capot with a huge double kill. He must be so low. Rifle comes out. Does take him down. But he picks up the revive just in time. And they'll just pick each other up. That is uh, really important from Capot. He might have just saved his team on this stage. As Shaman's going to be able to get in another frag after getting revived. So... Here comes the push from the allied team, remaining players. Kapot with another frag, Shaman with one more. Kapot still alive! How is he doing this? As he picks up two frags on the stairs, but randoms picking up three. Need to just take advantage of this. They have positioning, they have... Oh, they're going to go for the spawn kill, I think. They're going to wait for that spawn. Revive's going to come in in the spawn. They're taking their time here. I don't think there's any up top, unless they went up the back way. Let's pick up my man Timberlina. He is going to get that rifle off. He is going to be able to pick up one and the Gib and get revived. Here's the re remaining ally players. Two or three players. Kapot's doing some really good work here. As the push comes in towards the controls. Sherlock somehow dodging and weaving. Takes down two. 
does get dropped finally. Kapot coming to save the day. He has got another Axis player as, uh, as backup. And you are going to see Timberlina pick up too. Kapot is playing out of his mind. He's picked up like 10 frags in the last minute and a half. As you do see the, the, the Axis team just take full control of the upper area. Randoms do have uh, a lot of players in the Axis spawn. They, just got, they should really just hold on here. They've got one player respawning in. Two. And it's non-medics. Kapot taken by surprise a little bit there. He is out for full spawn. Two players out for full. Timberlina is going to be able to make it up the stairs. As you see the aggression from Samraj gets sort of baited in. Uh, Timberlina is going to use a teammate to uh, get some frags in. Sherlock with double frag. And it doesn't look like the allies are going to just push up again. We prime posi position for Timberlina here. He doesn't manage to get a frag in. He uh, has a nade in his hand. Oh no! Oh, at least they're not full. At least they're not full. Timberlina. That was really unfortunate. Not much you can do there. Ah. Oh. So the, the, the controls have been built. And the, the gold is going to be in the back of the truck. But that is a really nice hold for a trick jump. A bit chaotic. A bit on the edge. Sharma picks up a double kill in the spawn. And it does look like William's just going to put down some cheeky mines on, on this uh, east side of the map. He's going to get dropped out. No full spawn, though. He's going to come back in. Bronson actually may have been taken down for a full spawn there. As the push in through main by Kimmy does take down one. I'm going to stick with the remaining medics. The revive train is going to be quite important. Nice headshots from, from Williams there. Takes down uh, Shin on east. The revives will come in for trick jump. And this looks solid for a trick jump full hold. They're going to have to... Uh, they're going to have to throw this a little bit. Oh, that might be a team kill. Yeah. Unfortunately, not a full. Kimmy uh, with the rifle into main. Gonna push in. Nice work from uh, Kapot. Needs to get that Gibbon. Medic in the spawn. Gets another kill as well. Kapot's been playing really well. Now he's hitting his shots, that's for, that's for sure. Push in through main. Big medic push from the Ally team. And Kapot and Sherlock going to be both taken down. One more player alive. Timberlina gets taken down, but the suicide nade basically takes down the two medics. And it has Kimmy just by him, her, uh, himself as uh, he's going to be able to take down one on the fo full. Full, yes, that was a gib. And there's one behind you. There's one behind you. Come on, Shaman. Shaman picks up that frag, but gets taken down. I heard that. I heard that. Williams pushing towards the truck. This is just so frantic. And it does look like Samurai is going to be able to move this. How many allies in position? Three. They are getting flanked heavily by Kapot. Takes down one. But they've got the freedom to just move it around east. Then they have another teammate in position. No Axis players slowing this down. As uh, no artilleries, no strikes. More ally players making it through main. Shin with the frag on uh, one, of the, one of the pushing medics. But Williams is in the back of the truck and they're not getting anything in. The rifle grenade just misses the truck. As the truck's going to roll on through main, more uh, allied reinforcements. We're going to back it up, and this has been this has been insane. Is is Williams going to get crushed here? Normally, if you're prone here, you could get crushed. Uh, he's he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. No, it doesn't stop though. It doesn't stop. Really nice play from Williams. He's been in the back of that truck for ages. Rifle comes up. Not going to be able to get the kill in on the on the truck driver effectively. Williams. And that is going to be a, a 12, 12 minutes, 19 time. Not the greatest, but it really didn't look good for the randoms team. Trick Jump really holding it off very well. We'll pick up the frags. And look at that from Trick Jump. Nearly all 20 frags. Nearly all 3k damage. Very, very nice. We did have uh, Fantasy just lacking behind, but I think he was a spawn back engineer. And he spawned back twice by accident. And we also had... Um, Sherlock, who might have been uh, the uh, the medic on middle. I'm not sure. But, I mean, two frags is not that big a deal. I mean, it would have been glorious if they all had 20. We go across the other team. William struggled a little bit on the frag front, but he was the engineer, dedicated engineer. He got down all the plants. He was the <laughs> dedicated truck driver as well. Um, so he did all the objectives. But I, I would say Kapot had a really nice series. He got he got a good 10 frags in about in about two minutes. Where it just, he just went off on, on the middle. Let's keep, keep picking up two here, two there, three here. That was really nice. And I, I saw Timberlina getting in some double frags. But we'll see. They've given themselves plenty of time to get uh, the first map supply. 
12 and a half minutes is very much advantage the Axis team on that sort of time. At least, at least they set a time. Well, I guess that's that's something to be happy about because it wasn't looking good. It definitely was not looking good. So here we go. The game is going to kick off, and we do have randoms on defence. I may be called. I may have called randoms the wrong name at one point. I've got a vague feeling that I called them smashed. That's because I have done a smash cast recently. So do ignore that. And we do have Bronson on middle. Gonna get off a fair bit of damage. No kills. Push towards the cave. Fantasy's gonna be able to get in one frag. And it is slightly advantage uh, trick jump as the, the kills will come in. They still need to take advantage. There are two or three players up. As it doesn't look like they have much of a lower defense. As Shaman's just gonna bounce in. Williams on the other side of that door, I believe. And uh, Shaman's gonna be able to take down one. No gib coming in. He's going to get absolutely dis demolished. Williams pushed through that door. Took Shaman by surprise. Oh. I don't know what that was about. Williams on full. And now Trick Jump should be able to get in. Oh, a little boost and an artillery. Another alley -oop. As uh, the allies are moving into this lower area. Four players for, uh, for Trick Jump getting frags in. Or well, three players. Stimulated with that double frag. And they have a little bit of control on middle. As the couch is going to push down lower. 20 seconds on the respawn. As double frag comes in for, for one of the players, Bronson. And it does look like the uh, trick jump team have got a bit of control. Uh, sorry, the randoms team have got a bit of control. But the big, big flag grab from Kapot on the spawn time. And you just can't deal with that. That that was a, a really nice move. It's an old one. It's an old one. Everyone knows the move. You, you grab it one second before spawn. There's, there's no counter to that. And that's why you see some people dodge and weave at the flag. I actually just dodged and weave in real life, sorry. Uh, so you see some people dodge and weave at the flag. Just waiting just for that split second to grab it because there's no way that other team can grab it and, and reclaim it in time. It, take, it takes like half a second to a, like a second for it to go through. So, I mean, that was an old one from RCW. Transitioned over to ET, of course. There are less flags in ET, but um, it, st it still comes into good use at some stages. As the mines have gone down, only one mine. I think there's quite a lot of cave, I would assume. Yeah, there's a couple at cave. As we see the push from Trick Jump coming in now. Artillery's on the road, Shin's just going to push on through. Uh, goes for the slash kill, no problem. As the aggression from Williams, I think he's on a short spawn. Just trying to get some information, but that may just basically make the ally team push. As they are pushing through the cave, capture with a bit of a, a support role, helping his teammates out on both sides of the map. He knows there's a need behind him. Nice headshot, slow. Shot clock taken down. So uh, I would say this is like the Wut position. As, uh, it is really nice uh, when you watch Wut play that role. As uh, Kimmy's not going to be able to get in any fracks. He did a, a, a great deal of damage. Trick jump are going to move across. Nice shooting. Double rifle grenade from Kimmy. And I think that was from Cave Rock. And so randoms are really holding off here at CP. Williams backs off really nicely. Just make, make, makes you chase him. And uh, just gets to some health packs. Full health. Cheeky. Push across the top. Shaman by himself. Playing a bit risky, does get the frag in and the give. Nice work from Shaman. Will de destroy CP, but will surely be taken down. Samurai with a double frag at CP, but are there any more players in position? It is. I was stuck on the rock there. I was stuck in the rock. Timberlina is two on one. Should should be taken down. And the tap from CP. Kimmy's just going to tap it. It's actually maybe going to build it. It's not going to not going to build it. Kimmy with the tap. So they won't have forward spawn for uh, about 30 seconds. Dynamite Shaman uh, finds the mines. Plant has gone down on main. No real defense on main. Sometimes you just got to give up CP. And they've got it well and truly covered. Timberlina's having none of this. Doesn't want any diffuse antics. Push coming over west. As you can see, names popping over the wall. Nice boost from Shin. Does get taken down on a short spawn, but... I'm going to watch Kapot. Still got it covered. There's some nice shooting. Takes down two. Nearly three. 
Gets taken down in the end. Should get revived. Randoms uh, kind of standards. They're playing very aggressive here. Panzer would be uh, huge. But of course, we don't really see to Panzer too often in ET. Nice, uh, nice Luger frag. Maybe a double. And the stab. Fantasy, he's not having it. Just turned around in time. That might be a backstab. Double frag comes out for him. And the truck should start rolling in through main as the Axis respawn. Boost over the top. Do they know Bronson's here? Maybe Kimmy saw the feet. We saw the name. That made it obvious for us, but not so obvious for Kimmy. As, uh... I'm not sure where that allied player went. Oh, no. Bronson was on team. Okay, that, that makes sense. I'm, I'm completely baffling myself here. As uh, Random's going to be able to pick up three kills. So a little push towards west by the sounds of it. Maybe a plant going down. So maybe uh, it's going to be sure clock. And nades coming over the top. Spawn kills. Couch is taken down. And it's going to be on Bronson to really save the day on the truck. He is going to get taken down in the end. And gibbed. And gibbed. And gibbed. As you are going to see the truck get moved in position. And they've got a lot of time on their hands. Another double frag comes in in the spawn. Sherlock and Shin both picking up a frag apiece. As the push coming up top. Sherlock leading the charge. Engineer SMG. Who does he have to deal with? Uh, there's no one alive. There's no one alive. Easy peasy. And that's it. They've got the gold in the back of the truck. And they've got so much time. Six minutes. The randoms defense has just fallen apart. We didn't see any of the heroics that we saw from... Um, the trick jump team where they were just they held on for so long on top in the middle area just really being frustrating nice double headshot comes out from shin and you're going to see the truck push round and this trick jump team looking pretty solid at the moment i'm liking this probably not the same sort of level that we've seen trick jump teams in the past obviously we've had trick jump teams that have been very strong with they've had uh, obviously sebes is a very good player and I guess they kind of lack an SMG engineer, like a, a proper SMG engineer. But that's why Sebes got into a, probably one of the better teams, because he's a, a very good SMG engineer. So, um, truck still getting sort of moved. Shaman double frag comes out on the east side. But they aren't, they aren't actually escorting it any further. But I think, I think they kind of assume it's over. I think we did have the GGs called out. Just uh, Shaman running riot. Triple frag comes out from Timberline, and he's just going to escort the truck out main. Is he going to get hit by the artillery? No. He survives. He's going to put a mine down. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. You can't put mines down next to the truck. They just instantly explode. But that was good to watch. That was fun. Thanks for that, Timberline. So it's going to be the first map going trick jumps way. And I'd say well deserved. Their attack was pretty solid. They... Well, there was a couple of stages where they got him for free. Up top, didn't really have much of the defense. Main, didn't have much of the defense. Once they had CP, they rolled on through. So randoms, I'd say sometimes it can be easier when you've got big, obvious issues where you're not setting up your, your defense on stages in time. It can be easier to, like, to um, fix that because it's so obvious. Whereas the small things can be very hard. It can be very hard. And generally, when small things are going wrong, what teams used to do at least was just replace a player because they thought it was just a player was an issue but it isn't it's just like very small things within the team looking at the frags uh the the, the kills from the uh, trick jump team have boosted quite a bit from those nearly all 20s as you do see 36 coming out from kapot in the end top fragging and and just behind fantasy 5.7k damage across to the other team we do see 28 frags coming out from kimmy on the rifle and 5.5k coming out from Batman um, in the damage in the damage situation. Looking at the Gibbs, not fantastic. Not fantastic. Not fantastic at all. We don't see 30% uh, Gibbs enough. But that was uh, that was pretty. I'd say both teams were actually playing very well, and it can be very hard to to get Gibbs in when teams are actually playing well in terms of just the other team's going to revive a lot more. And the medics are going to be in position. Fight. So here we go. It is going to be Radar as the second map. And we do have the randoms teams on defense. Nice airstrike comes out. But someone's going to be able to get past it. Sherlock 
no problems at all. SMG Engineer, he is going to get taken down by the uh, the MP40. A Bronson, nice frag comes out from Shaman. He is going to get in that revive as well. Maybe the push towards main will come towards uh, the plant area. Timberlina, wonder if he's got the charge. Two players on the roads. Team kill comes out. Going to be a bit of cover. Nice work from Shaman. As they're going to try and run away. Shaman whips out the pistol. Revives will come in though. Short spawn, no problems at all. There's the push coming towards towards side now. Is that Sherlock still waiting for the revive since before? I, I don't know. I don't know. Did he get killed again? He didn't. So yeah, he's been waiting for a revive there for a while. And he uh, is going to respawn back in. They're going to do a heavy push towards side this time. And it doesn't look like they've got much of defense. Sherlock taking a lot of damage in the back. TK revive comes in. And it looks like they've got four players in position. Plant's going to go down and they're getting heavily flanked. Three randoms players coming from behind. I don't think they've got an engineer, so I don't see the use of this too much. And that was nearly a full spawn. Or that was a full spawn from Williams. That wasn't great. And another full spawn. What is this? What are they doing? What is this? Just over, really over aggressive play. Extremely aggressive play into full spawns to get zero gain they've, none of these guys are even engineers it makes fight. absolutely no sense why you'd go heavy on side like that no one spawned back I don't think this is going to be an awful CP defence because the plant's gone down before the spawn time and they're going to just have the freedom to walk in I wonder if they even built CP um, on the first spawn is, is Timberlina just going to be able to walk in here Oh, yeah, he has got one player to do it, Kimmy. Saving Grace. But Kimmy, on the lonesome, fortunately doesn't have too many people to deal with. If there was three or four out there, it would have been a real problem. Plant has gone down on main. And the rifle will come out. Timberlina, somehow surviving, gets boosted forwards. He's going to get gibbed out. Waste of a, a bit of charge there. Back up is in position. Bronson with a double kill, playing that field up. At the CP and it does look like CP has managed to recover. Get that CP defense up. You hate to see no defense. That's all I'm saying. You hate to see it. Artillery out main. It's actually gonna not be needed. The mine's gonna have disappeared because uh, Shin managed to walk over that just in time. Show sure clock. What is the, where are the push is coming from? They're very slow. They're just holding up main, holding at sight. Need to see a good push. Plant C here at main, getting some shots off. Decides to go towards main as the CP push will come in. They try and pick up the rifle, who is Kimmy. The rifle comes out, rifle comes out and gets a kill. And uh, kind of out of charge, needs to get that spam in. Need to reply. No Panzer, Panzer will be pretty big here. But lots of random frags comes out. Just, just. Sherlock gets taken down and the teammate just ran across uh, Kimmy there. Kind of fortunate. Grenade from the Kapot, who's uh, taken a lot of damage. Push forward slash kill. So there's no there's no rifle at CP right now. And they know it. They must know it. The allies are going to push main. I don't think this is spawn time to push main. Made towards the, the guys here. One player at west. And we've got the rifle... He's rotated towards fake. Three players at fake. And this is what main push is all about. You do this to make everybody rotate from CP. And then on the next push, you push towards CP. These guys stay alive. It could actually be a massive distraction. Pushing around the back. Going to be able to take down Kimmy. Two players still alive. They're going to go towards the ammo crates. Uh, Samraj is going to try and take them down. Pistol out. Timberlina hasn't got any ammo. Doesn't want to reload. Needs to get that revive in. Vital. Well, at least they've been a massive distraction. They should have CP now. The allies should have CP. Have they already have they already gone there? I think they might have already gone there. I'm not sure. Because they, they shouldn't push main twice. Especially when you've got two people distracting like that. You've got a lot of freedom to just get into CP that way. I don't think they have, though. I think it's all clear. They have destroyed it. But you're just going to see Kimmy tap it. And uh, oh, that's going to be it. Bronson completely caught out. Obviously has very little idea of the spawn time for the Allied team. Rifle comes out from Kimmy. Needs another one. Needs a huge one. 
Didn't tap the CP, so the rebuild's going to come in from uh, Sherlock, and there's going to be the forward spawn locked down. It's taken a little bit of time for the Allied team. Five minutes. But now they're on to the main objectives, east and west. Most of the time, east is the uh, the main attraction at the beginning, just because it's easy. And it's very hard to defend for the Axis team, especially if you go heavy defense on it. You're going to theoretically lose west from just a very simple push through main, so... To see an artillery frag come out. Fantasy taken down by Bronson and the frags just going back and forth. As you do see Sherlock actually moving towards west. But they must know he's here now. They must know he's here. He's giving away his position. And yeah, he's taking shots. So they're gonna the co the comms is gonna be up. There's one on west. And he's instantly taken down. So maybe just get that get that east parts out of the way. Get a simple boost. They're going towards fake though. And they're not shooting through grass. It's just I have grass turned on. It looks pretty. It looks pretty. People shoot through it. You don't have it on uh, in 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 the game configs, and so it's going to be Timberliner to make it away with the parts. So I'm going to actually just follow this. Well, I'll, fo I'll follow the escort, Shin. Just backing his teammate up. You don't see too many players try and go for the um, secure through through flag anymore. You used to see it quite a lot, mainly from certain types of players like Squiz and Raz used to do it quite a lot. I guess. You could say really experienced players, so the experience on these two teams nowhere near that stat, nowhere near that level. So it comes the push towards the main. Looks pretty clear. Timberlina should have a free run just to get these uh, this objective in the back of the truck. As uh, there's never too much of a defence uh, put up. Like I said they, they might have one like ninja assassin push through. Nice headshots from Shin. Artillery is going to get a couple of frags. Williams with a double frag that main. Someone did actually manage to push through it. That was a double artillery. Coucher and uh, Williams did artillery on the same spot. Hey, it worked. It got lots of frags. As you heard, they've only got five minutes. They have taken control of East already, but a couple of the Axis players still playing aggressive. Both taken down. Three frags to trick jump very quickly, and it is going to be... Just uh, Batman, pretty much, as the remaining medic. He has got the backup of Samraj, actually. So three players need to just hold on for three or four seconds. And there comes the kills. Strike out from the uh, Axis. And you might have someone who's already pushed forwards. Support fire from Kapot actually took down um, that, that field up. No push from the back of West just yet. Shin in position. Already been spotted. Nice shooting. He's going to get me able to get the kill. A lot of damage. Support from Timberlina. Double frag comes out. You don't need to give these. You don't need to give these. You need to get onto the objective. Sometimes you don't need to give. Sometimes. That's, I think that's two faults from the ally team. Not, not ideal. Push towards fake. Nice shooting from Kimmy. Frag comes in from Samraj and they're just getting annihilated with this crossfire. Bronson and Kimmy on the spawn. Playing very aggressive on the east parts. Sometimes you play like, one player in this sort of position. I remember playing, uh, I can't remember what their name was. I think it was Jungle Brothers. And Butch G played this by himself. And he didn't really try and frag you. He just tried to lame you. Which was abs is absolutely fine. I'm 100% fine with that in terms of a strap. Shoot people in the back by yourself. Just take, pick people off. And he did it to perfection. It was really hard to deal with but they're playing ultra aggressive and they're losing it almost every time shaman with a double frag as you see the push start to come around the back of west and no shaman's lost i think he wants the ammo but fantasy's pushed up all by himself and timberlina somehow dodged that mine didn't it didn't know he dodged it but still dodged it the parts have fallen on the roads the fo they're just on this bush kapot as a filled up not ideal shaman needs to get this frag in needs to get this frag in but he's gonna get taken down Decides to kill out. Should, should just uh, easily secure this. No one's at west. And that's another recovery from randoms. Nice shooting from Williams. Gets in some headshots. Shaman with another double kill. I don't know how they're getting all these kills. And not really taking too much advantage of this. Nice shooting again. Batman taking down Shaman. Gonna go aggressive. Luger out. Timberlina is going to get taken down, sort of uh, double teamed. And this is a bit nicer play, I think, from the guys in spawn. Play a bit more defensive. Just lure them in to 
a trap. And then you've got the spawn. You can spawn on top of them. And you've got spawn protection for four or five seconds. Or two or three seconds. I think it's slightly longer on ET, actually. So here comes a slow push. Headshot instantly onto Sherlock. He's got two players to deal with. It's taken down. Nice from Shaman. Takes down one. But they're not sticking together. So these kills that are coming in, no revives are coming out the other end. I think Timberlina on the uh, on the MG doing some work. Setting it up, trying to do some damage on towards West. He's still in position. He's going to get taken down. And they're going for that boost. They can't boost in the middle like that. They can't boost in the middle. But they don't know Shins here. They don't know Shins here. Now they know Shins here. Shins are uh, going to be very, very stealthy. Gets two frags in, but not much else. And this is looking good for a full hold. Randoms playing very well. Very well indeed. I'd say it's more down to trick jump, not really grouping very well. They're pushing into the part onto the parts in ones and twos. That can very much change in the last minute because everyone has to push basically. You don't have any other choice. So comms will be just like push. Push. There's lots of trick jump frags come in. Double frag from Shaman and they're pushing into the, from the back of West. And they're pushing across the top as well. Fantasy double frag. And Sherlock clock as well. I think that's it cleared out. They need to just get their hands on the objective and get away. What sort of time will it be? It'll be terrible as the respawn has come in. Push coming in through main. Kapot needs to have his packs out. And they're going to get completely mowed down by Kimmy as the secure comes in. And there's no allied players in position. And it's going to be it. Fantasy with the knife at the, oh. knife at the end. But that's it. That's going to be a full hold. And that's the perfect perfect reply from randoms after, after losing out on... Uh, on supply. They are going to come out effectively the victors on their own defence. They couldn't have done any better. Obviously, they have to set a time. They've given themselves the best opportunity. They have to set a time. Because if you don't set a time, it's a double full hold and you lose 3-1. This is the way it works. 30 frags coming out from Bronson. Five, nearly 5.1k damage. Looking across the other team, 3.9 nearly from Shaman. 24 frags. And uh, nearly in frag order. I guess that is the way it normally happens because frags give you score. Yes, I, I, I am uh, experienced in this. But look at that. Samurai is high, so he's going to be getting in plenty of revives. He's nearly nearly got more um, points than Bronson. And hasn't got the sort of damage or frag, so some nice medic work on defense. And that's sort of like, uh, what's the word? It, people generally ignore that in terms of performance. It's unsung heroes. How many needles? Uh, doesn't tell me the accuracy of his needle. Uh, oh, I guess it's this half round, unfortunately. I don't see the full stats. No big deal. Uh, so we are going to see trick jump now on the defense now they know that if they full hold they haven't given themselves the best uh, chance to this but it's basically like you're just defending to win or defending to go to overtime so they, they can't lose but they can not win yes where we, where we'll see a, a third map random's doing a big push towards main shaman all by himself we don't see too many panzers anymore that would have been absolutely annihilated with a Panzer in that corridor if someone was quick. As the push is coming through, main no engineering position. Oh, Fantasy is there. And got the backup of Kapot. Fantasy taken down. Kapot's going to have to do it all alone. And has taken down one. Gets dropped. Fantasy on the respawn, I think. Gets taken down again. Double threat comes out from Samraj, but the revives will come in on that corridor. And they're going to go for it as Fantasy just runs out with his... With his uh, back turn to uh, an enemy. Easy double kill for, for Samurai. Shin, though, replies instantly. And it's going to be a flag grab as Shin's going to get taken down as well. And that's a pretty fast flag grab. Within the first minute, no problems. And the plant's already gone down. So that'll blow very quickly. And this should allow the Axis to set up a CP. I don't think... Uh, sorry, I think I just hit my mic. Uh, I don't think C uh, the CP side's been planted just yet. No, it hasn't. Landmine spotted. Check your command map. They have got their hands on a suit. And this isn't so important. 
but it can be annoying. As uh, someone pushes through, Timberlina is going to be able to get two frags. Oh, one frag actually. Sorry, Kimmy, with the reply. The, the, the two frags, the second frag was a mine on, I think, at main maybe. Not sure where that mine was. I just uh, I skipped across, saw the rifle. I thought, oh, that, yeah, Timberlina is still alive. Wrong gun. So plant has gone down at sides. Bit of pressure on towards main. Heavy setup. Trying gonna try and get towards Timberlin. They're actually gonna go for a main push. I like this, because they knew they were all on side and they baited them, and then they're just gonna push main. I like this from randoms. Very nice idea. Maybe not gonna work too well. Fantasy's mind's gonna pick up two. But he's gonna get overrun. One more player on West. And he's gonna have four players to deal with. As the push through the trenches is gonna come in. Five players are gonna be on it. And the parts have been picked up. No goldfish mine, and whoever the engineer is for, for trick jump has to get that mine in. They have to. West is going to get picked up and escorted all the way. That mine could have done it. You've got to get that mine in every time. So West is gone within the first two minutes, two and a half minutes. This is going to be so hard to defend now. And now they're going to go towards CP because it would be very, very stupid to have a, a CP defense here. When they could just roll through main and take them the last objective, so we'll see, we'll see. They have got a CP defense. The Panzer comes in from Williams, and there's another player still alive. Williams gets in huge amounts of damage, four frags in the end. Kimmy with a double frag as well. And Kapot's gonna try and do something. He's got 20 seconds spawn. And he's gonna be able to get one frag in. Not gonna be able to make it two, just gonna try and waste some time of the LI team. CP has been built up, forward spawn on lockdown as the push coming across the top. Shaman's taking quite a bit of damage there. Basically got to hold it by himself for 10 seconds. Oh, Fantasy, sorry. Has, uh, has done the job, respawn comes in, but the parts have been grabbed. Let me try and uh, see that. Really nice, who was that? That was, that was Batman. You see what Batman was doing there? Trying to block as much as possible, standing behind Bronson, taking some damage. Didn't take too much because they're obviously not trying to aim at him, but I think he might have managed to help out his teammate get the, the parts at least so he was killed at the top of the hill rather than halfway up it, which would have been a big problem. So uh, I think it's I think it's Batman with the parts. Let's skip it across. Artillery has gone down a truck. It's going to wait out. It's going to wait out. So we'll pick up the Axis. Oh, are there any Axis alive? That's the question. I think it's just Sean. It's just Shaman. This artillery is holding them off. But it could just bounce through with the objective if not careful. There's no allied presence at the truck just yet. Kimmy respawns, pushes through the corridor. Not much ammo on the Axis team. They have been allowed to recover and get a full strength team into position. But frags coming random's way. And they might try and push out on this. As you do see Williams puts down an artillery at the truck, the revives will come in for the Axis team. And uh, Kapot needs to have his gun out. Because they know that the spawn time is not good. And they killed out! Fantasy killed out, that is... They're going to have full control of the truck now. It really should go. They, they're giving him so much time, they had, they had like a 5 second window to just go. He should be like ready and in position to just launch artillery at truck again. Nades over the top. It's very much ally control. Team kills coming in. Four or five players in position. Where are the parts? Here they come. And that's going to be it. That's how easy it was. They could have done that, I think, one or, one or two times before this. But they wanted to make sure they had plenty of time, to be fair. Sometimes it can be really bad idea to wait for a long time sometimes it's just worth to risk it especially if it's the only objective you've got to do because if you've got say let's say you've got five minutes on the clock and you wait for three of those and you lose it it's going to be hard to recover whereas if you go in the first minute in, on a on a decent time push like if there uh, a few have been killed if you lose it then then you're going to have another opportunity a, a better opportunity uh, looking at the frags 35 comes out from bronson 30 from Coucher and 30 from Shaman. 4.9k from Shaman, 6k from Bronson. 
And uh, the Gibbs looking nicer for the Trick Jump team. And for the Randoms team, I like it. It's a bit, a bit, bit more... Uh, Bit more in line with what I like to see. Here we go. It is going to be Gold Rush. A very uh, well played map, so no excuses here. Radar can be quite hard for some teams, just even the experienced teams. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Gold Rush is a bit, bit more straightforward. And like I said, very, very well played. We are going to have randoms on the attack first. Trick jump on the defense. So we're going to see Shin go aggressive towards the side area. Nate comes out, does get the frag onto Kimmy, but no Gib comes in. So we should see the revive of the rifle for the LI team. As uh, more frags towards main. It's going to be fantasy, actually, in a double frag. I'm not sure where he got it from. I think it was from main. As uh, a bit of aggression from back from the Axis team. Killouts come in. So they're going to have uh, an idea of the spawn time. We're going to see one ally player make it into corner. And uh, it's going to be Shaman caught in no man's land. It's going to be crossfired a little bit from push from side. Nice rifle comes out. Double rifle from Kimmy. And they really have to take advantage of this. But no revive comes in on the SMG engineering corner. Two engineers just sitting there. And Kapotz is going to have the free reign of just coming in with the backstabs on the Gibbs. Double frag came out from Fantasy on that. But the push comes in through main. And a little bit of build a build comes in. Really nice double frag comes out from Kapot. But I think, uh, I think Bronson or Williams. I'm not sure who the... The engineer was. I think it was. I think it was Bronson, and got taken down basically instantly. A rifle on main. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. I'm gonna see Bronson just hold it off. Trying to spot some heads. Shaman going ultra aggressive. Probably on the short spawn. It is on the short spawn. Nice play from Shaman. Does get taken down by Batman. But um, not much to deal with so far. Where's the push coming from? Nice rifle from Kimmy. That's going to be another trick rifle, probably. As the push comes up back. Two or three players from allies. And they're going to see ultra defensive positioning from Trick Jump. In their spawn. Nice rifle from uh, Timberlina. Going to go aggressive on the short spawn. Aim for the medic. Not going to happen. Bit of a, a bit of a weakened medic coming up back. And you see Sherlock just bound straight towards... Side, no fear. He's going to be able to get that frag in, but there are a couple players at back. It was a bit of a risky play. As uh, the allies are just being held off, but they're not getting gibbed. Oh, uh, saw that happening. And that's uh, maybe a full spawn. Nice work from Bronson. Three mines blown as well, but not on the full spawn. Oh, there's still a mine there. Unbelievable. 75% built, the tank is, so you might see a big main rush coming in. I think you saw uh, Bronson was killed on a mine, didn't tap out in time, so the mine was still there to blow, and there was an engineer standing next to him, couldn't tap out basically. Whether it was, it, it, I don't think he got full spawn for that, because it, it was on a fairly long spawn anyway. I think the charge will be reset very soon. I want to actually see what's going on. It's everywhere. Pause comes out. It's going to help me. So they have got someone in corner. It's just so frantic. Axis defense are going aggressive when they know people are, have got control of certain positions, which is kind of throwing me off. Fight. Sherlock sure here. It's going to be able to get a bit of damage in and get the medic. Tries to get the stabs in. It's like throwing knife. Nice work from Shaman. So they've cleared it out. They need to reset the, themselves a little bit. Risky play. Doesn't get team killed. No problem. But at least it's nice to see that Shaman doesn't care about his accuracy. It's always nice to see when someone who can aim doesn't care if they get low accuracy. I.e. they're going to just shoot for the sake of it. Some people really care about how how many shots they hit and this sort of monarchy. Nice work from Kapot. Needed to get that frag in for the revival, although it was a short spawn. The allies have a lot of freedom to just push inside here. As the rifle's going to come out from Kimmy, he's going to be able to get one, but taken down instantly from by Timberlina's grenade. Respawn comes in, and Kimmy needs to get himself out of there. As uh, he's going to get blasted towards side. Nice work again. More rifle kills coming out. 
Trick Jump already held the first stage off for nearly five minutes. Three frags coming in for for randoms. Finally, taking a little bit of an advantage on this stage. But they've still got players to deal with. Trick Jump have a player on sides and the respawn coming in. They know someone's at back. And the Shaman, nice shot. He's going to get some support from Sherlock though. Sherlock with the double frag, but that was shot all, all Shaman with the headshots. And risky to revive. No need. Just no need. There's two frags coming in for Batman. Pushing through main. Fantasy's just the turret on the tank. It's a good job that MG doesn't work yet. It'll be brutal. Now we're going to see the build come in for Batman. Maybe he got gibbed. He did indeed get gibbed. They have got a bit of control here at the tank. Push coming across the top. Nice revive from Coucher. Needs to stay alive. And they have managed to build it. And they are in the in it. Nice work from Kimmy. Double, triple frag from from Kimmy and the and the on the landmine double frag. That was just so chaotic. I think it was like, what's that? One, two, three, four, five. Five on one, and Kimmy comes out on top. Just has to kill two with the nade on the entrance. Tap tap on the uh, on the tank to actually get inside it. And the team kills with the, the remaining mine. That was pretty nice. And you are seeing Bronson just go mental, getting loads of frags at this stage. The CP is uh, in Axis' hands, but they haven't built up the barrier just yet. A lot of charges gone into that, I assume. Maybe you need Timberlina to just jump down and, and finish that off. He's not going to have a, any opportunity as Bronson's going to close in, take him down. No, Timberlina comes out on top, but the, the tank has gone past the, the barrier, so no extra stage for the ally team uh, for the axis team should i say for the ally team to deal with that's uh, timberland is still alive up top gonna put a nade on the tank probably gonna kill out tank is destroyed nice work from timberlina they need to build this tank up but they do it instantly engineer straight on it but they need to get some mines up here come them and uh, the mines up the nades up from the axis team need to destroy it straight away no messing about instant destroy Instantly destroyed, I like it. So that's two two destructions. I'd say like four is what you want to try and aim for. It can be hard, it can be very hard, but it adds quite a bit of time to the clock. You can get players in position just to be annoying. Kapot tries to do that. It's gonna get taken down. Here comes the engineer and Williams. Needs up again. Nope. You can't aim down that, that much. Oh, Williams is going to get taken by, down by Shaman. Gave him a little bit of a helping hand with that, those broken legs. At least he didn't jump and he just pressed forward. Shaman, cheeky. Really cheeky. Jumps on the MG, gets a, a charity kill. Push through the first arch. He's going to get dealt with. Timberlina with a double MP40 frags has decided to drop the rifle now. Most rifles do at this stage. Be quite hard to to rifle here. Push coming first, first arch again. And it's gonna be Samurai to just push on through. As there's one more Axis player, Timberlina, second arch player has decided to push out. And we'll see some respawn frags coming in. Grenade in the hands of uh, of Samurai doesn't manage to get the damage in. Secured the objective in the end. It was uh, pretty straightforward. The allies didn't get too far. Very defensive positioning here at, at third arch. I want to see them up on the MG. Shaman picking up two on that second arch area, but the revives do come in, and now they're pushing towards the front of the bank. As uh, Shin pushes out, just completely blanks Williams, who gets a free shot. Push towards third. Fantasy takes a, a bit of damage and is a little low. And a fairly long spawn. Kapot too. You need to be careful with this. Shaman gets nade blasted out and gets the kill. But they haven't destroyed the tank. And that's very, very dangerous. The tank is uh is ultra ultra powerful, the MG. As uh, Williams is showing you. There's a uh, push coming towards the third uh, third arch again. Very, very uh chaotic play. They need to destroy that tank desperately. They can't play they can't get into aggressive positions with that tank up and running 
Not that they were trying anyway. They're playing very defensive anyway. Maybe they were playing defensive because of the tank. Hopefully we get to find out. They still haven't destroyed this tank. And I'm pretty sure they've respawned twice since, so... I need to get just an airstrike on it. Objective taken. Objective has been picked up by Batman. He's going to make his way towards third arch. Got a lot of ally players in this courtyard. And he's just going to have a lot of freedom to just run up the ammo roads. No problems at all. Lots of cover. And the MG's still rolling. The MG's still rolling. I would say that's probably been the difference maker. And he's going to just make his way around the back of the truck. Not really waiting for support. Could run the risk. Fortunately, Sherlock didn't, didn't have a clue. I think I, that's what I said about on radar. Sometimes it's just worth the risk. Just go for it. I mean, maybe he could have had some players support him. He had two players at truck who could have supported him. But that was a really nice run. And uh, Sherlock on the truck needs to get this frag in. Doesn't matter too much anyway. Batman's in position to escort the truck past the barrier. And we are going to at least have a time set here on Gold Rush. Again, not the best. Airstrike at first. Let's see a couple of players push out and push through. Sherlock's going to get a... Uh, it would have been brilliant if that was Batman because it was just such a Batman move. That was classic Batman. Uh, Bronson's actually going to get the frag in. And it's going to be randoms to set. What will be about 11, 11 and a half minute time. No one really uh, putting any pressure on towards the truck. We've got uh, quite a few players in the way. Spawn comes in, Patterns is going to come out. Misses, misses everything. Maybe a spawn shield was a problem. Red Club's going to get shot in the back. I can feel it. I can feel it. Look at the frags. 21 from Sherlock. With 3.2k uh, damage going his way as well. Across the other team, we've got 26 frags coming out from Kemi. 3.7k damage going away Bronson, so... So far, so good. For the, uh... For the trick jump team, I'd say... Actually, I'd say that's probably 50-50. 11 minutes is basically 50-50. You can win that. You can lose that. As an attacking team. So here we go. It is going to be the reply. From, from Kapot's men. The trick jump boys. Let's see what they've got. 11 minutes, 9 seconds. They only have to beat the time. The score is 2-2. It's definitely going to be 4-2 to somebody soon. 11 minutes, 9 seconds or less. Now, uh, now 10 minutes, 55 seconds or less. The access going aggressive on that backside. He's going to get taken down. Very aggressive push from Bronson as well. Three frags though coming in for random. Double frag from Coucher. But they've left back and side completely open. And you're going to see Sharma move towards that back area. And they need to take advantage of this at main. They need to put some pressure on there. So they did. They, they had to look towards it. Sharman has made his way all the way up the back though. Fantasy makes his way into corner. Gets taken down. And they've got no one on the side position yet. For the Axis team. Nice revive from, uh, from Coucher there. Gets shot in the back. Kapot with the double frag. What is going on? How's he got the freedom to just roll in through main? I guess that was the distraction from side. Kapot's going to have another player to deal with. Gets taken down. Three frags coming in for Kapot. Rifle comes out. Nearly the build. You did see the, the engineering position. But got taken down by the landmine of Williams. Fantasy would just be a bit, um, a bit annoyed with that. I'd say a lot of players, they, they do this thing where they come in through main and they jump and they land next to the tank every time. But they don't land next on the tank. They land here and then they slide. And then if the, these mines, that's what they're, they're there for. is Because if they're next to the tank, they won't blow. But there's a, a jump you can do where you can actually just land on the tank. On the side of the tank. And I remember seeing like Clown and Xylos do that quite a lot. And they were really good at building the tank. Obviously, at the higher level, people knew how to deal with them when they did that. So it was like counter, counter, counter meta. As you see, four frags for trick jump. They have to get this tank now. They have to. The artillery could be huge. Respawn comes in. Nice rifle comes out. Double grenade from Bronson. Double kills from Shaman and, and, uh, and Fantasy. We're not taking advantage of. Nice rifle from Timberlina. 
He's going to be able to take down one. He's going to run the risk of uh, of getting naded there. We aren't going to see too many too many uh, revives coming in, unfortunately. I'm not even sure if Timberlina got picked up there. He did. This has been one-way traffic so far. A lot of this has gone trick jumps way. And some, I think that was one of the ally players jumping on the mine. Oh, that was, that's, you hate to see it. I think that was the medic, the backup medic. I think that was fantasy, unfortunately, just jumped in to get the instant revive, which is really nice. However, I think uh, landed on the mine. They had a lot of players in position, though, the Axis, so it wasn't uh, done and dusted. Respawn comes in. Nice rifle comes out from Timberlina on the respawn. But the revive will come in. No gib on the Axis in the, in the corner. As you see, you see the push coming up. Kapot is just going to abandon the Engineer. But I don't blame him because there were so many players around. But the build's going to come in at main. Timberlina taking a lot of damage. This is, I mean, how am I meant to follow this? How, is, how are we meant to follow this? Frag's coming in everywhere. It's just back and forth constantly. And there was like 7, 8, 9, 10 players around the tank. But the randoms guys are going to come out on top. Got to keep those revives coming in. Nade over the top two team kills on the on the opening five ten seconds of the spawn, and the trick jump guys really need to take advantage. Just push. It does sound like a lot of them were getting revived though, so n n could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. What is going on? I, I, can you imagine what these guys' comms are like? Right now? It would just be so. It would be a mess. Screaming. I just picture screaming. They're going to have a little bit of respite for the defensive team. Nice. Frag comes out from Batman. No push comes in. Kapot just by himself. Couple of players in corner. Rifle comes out from Kimmy. This should be good. It's not going to happen. Has managed to uh, charge it up again, but not enough charge to, to let loose. Couple of frags going. Trick jumps away. Side defense going. Really nice. Sandwich with triple frag with the MP40. But push coming through main on the respawn. Rifle comes out from Kimmy. And we are going to see Fantasy try and get the, the kill in. I think uh, gave full for that. I'm not sure if that was worth it too much. They're running out of time. They've helped, been held off for uh, four minutes. One and a half more minutes and then it's about the same. So we'll see. Push coming up back. Shaman has got a frag. And they're being distracted. Respawn coming in. Are they just going to jump in through main again? It's going to be Fantasy respawning. Gets the grenade off. Maybe that was actually Sherlock. But a lot of frags going around his way. And then instant reply from Trick Jump. Getting frags in as well. What the hell is going on in this game? I can't follow the game. We are going to see a build come in. No! Oh my god. Oh my lord. I just... Ah. They did get it. They did get it. That was nearly just... That was nearly such a mess up. You didn't didn't even need to do it. I'm not sure who that was. I think that was Timberlina. I think it's where it gets to the point where you're just so desperate to get it built that you can, you're, it's sort of like tennis where you get forced mistakes. Nice work from Shin. Gets two frags in and the Gibbs. Really nice. Pistol nearly takes down uh, Kimmy there. But no barrier build's going to come in. Kapot in a great position. He's actually going to go aggressive. Just hold off the bottom of the stairs. And there's no Axis players uh, running the risk. Maybe they should just fall back. Because if you get rolled over here, you've got a lot. Like, they're, they're in two mines. They're just sort of caught out in the middle of nowhere at the moment. And this is going to be nice from Bronson. Not going to be able to get the airstrike off. Nice work from Sherlock. It's in two. Nearly the third, but that was the medic taken down. So no revive for the field up. So no damage on the tank just yet. We are going to see the... Uh, the Kovi go towards CP, that, that blown. Timberlina, <laughs> Team Killer Fantasy there. And again, the tank is still not destroyed. I guess it's more chance of it getting destroyed when it gets into position. Oh, it will be destroyed before it gets there. Just, just. Engineer instantly on it to, to repair. And it's going to be in position. Are they going to destroy the tank? Or is it going to basically be the game changer? Nice nade from Williams. I'm not sure what his spawn time was. It was only three seconds. That makes sense. Just wanted to get that nade off, get a bit of damage on it. They need that strike. Where's the strike? Firing for okay, artillery. Okay, that should be it damaged. 
in like 10 seconds, 15 seconds. The trick jump have a really good chance. 4 minutes, 20 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, I'm going to see Williams just try and shoot them through, through the trees. Batman gets a triple kill from first arch. As the push from uh, the ally starts coming across the top. They're taking their time. They are really taking their time. Sherlock, really nice give from Sherlock. And that's a filled up on the uh, on the MG out for, for 15 seconds. Nice work from Coucher. Does get in a bit of damage. Gets taken down though. Three kills went random his way at first, but we are going to see a couple of reply frags. As uh, oof, Williams nearly, nearly just threw that. <laughs> we are going to see the push come across the top maybe they actually just plowing into first arch batman's going to get overwhelmed he has got bronson for backup at the second but he's going to get taken down revive should come in at this first arch and i'm actually going to just uh tap out they have got a bit of control on the axis spawn a couple frags coming in at thirds and you're going to see a nice frag come out from williams there taking down timberlina instant reply though and this is uh Oh, so close from Shin. They have got a couple of trick jump players here at third. The medic work has not been great here on Gold Rush. Both teams have been playing very well throughout, but here on Gold Rush, not great. Mainly from trick jump, I'd say. I haven't seen too much in the way of poor stuff from randoms. Just, just missing revives. You could say that's good gib work, I guess, actually. By randoms. It's not like he didn't go for the revive. He just seemed to hesitate just a, for a split second. Comes the push across the top, and this is going to be completely overwhelming. Rush, they need to stop going for this big push on first because they seem to kill out or not really take too much of advantage of it. So they've killed a lot of players here, Trick Jump. They need to get into that bank. Samraj and Kimmy. Samraj, last one alive with a pistol. Two minutes left. Shin's going to be able to get that frag in. No, Samurai with the Luger just to slow it down a little bit. Let's see Fantasy get the nade off, but he's going to get taken down. Push out from Samurai. And I'm not sure what they're doing. I don't know where the objective is. Has it actually been taken down already? Sherlock dropped uh, by Bronson, I believe. And that's going to be it. I, be I would assume they don't have enough time. They need to push uh, across the top a little bit better, though. You don't need four players to do a first arch. Unless it's, like, really good on the spawn time. Shouldn't be pushing first so often, I guess. Like basically, how the spawn times work, it would be, like, push first. And then it will be, like, um, wait for a spawn kill. And then push across the top in terms of the rotation of the spawns. Experience, experience on maps is a, is a really important. I, I played with Ross once here on Gold Rush. And the second, like, it was one of those three which I just said. He knows exactly which one, and he just gives that call. My, my experience in ET, in terms of playing, I, I would just be completely focused on trying to actually do something worthy, rather than that sort of thing. But in RSW, I mean, that, was, that was what I knew. 45 seconds. Not enough time, so they might have had it. They might have had it if, if their defense was a little bit more, more cut and dry. Because the truck is, uh, is still rolling on. And yeah, I'd, I'd say what 30 seconds max. That's really unfortunate. But I'm, I like what I see from both teams. I like what I see. I think these are two of the stronger teams uh after obviously the big four the big four that we we know and uh i'm, I'm gonna love watching them battle it out at them but i mean potentially if these guys ironed out some creases maybe there could be an upset i mean i don't think these are a race level teams a race was always behind the top ones the top teams but they could always be that team that could really do something they could uh, upset potential was pretty high there so 43 frags for kimmy 7k 7.6k for bronson and then looking across to the other team we have got 6.2k for shin and 41 frags coming out from sherlock that's going to be the end of this game and this was the first game for both teams in the kbg um seeding tournament 
There will be more games to come between now and the LAN. And the LAN is in, in two weeks. Uh, well, just about two weeks. It's on uh, the weekend, 19th, 20th, and 21st of May. I'll be streaming um, as many games as I can. Um, it does look like the schedule is long days. I'll try and do as much as I can. It does look like there's going to be a lot of breaks. I like what they're doing. It looks good. Um, they, they should have an on-site stream as well, which is going to be quite nice. You're going to see the players and stuff. But I'll be streaming the actual games. Um, I'm, I'm, I think they're going to do community casting as well. Uh, that that some people will really enjoy that. Um, but this is going to be the end of this this cast for me. Thanks for tuning in, and see you next time. See you next time.